we just cherry pick. Yeah, and then when it comes to Quran, we just keep our mouth shut. And then we just follow just prayer and Ramzan. And so, like, sorry, repeat, the truth. repeat that again keep for clean. me. Yeah. So your wife is more practicing Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she, she is agrees that there are certain things in Islam disturbing. Yeah. So it, when it comes to Hadith, what does she do? She just cherry picks. Unless she ignores it, literally ignores it, pretend it's not there. Yeah. And, and then for the, the Quran. Like the Surat Nisa, the one yeah. that beat your wife, yeah. she, 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 she gets really disturbed by that. So she, she just says, listen, just pretend it's not there. Like, yeah. So not what, there. what is your response to your wife when you, your wife, you are Muslim and she yeah. is Muslim, when she says, okay, we need to pretend that verse which talks yeah. about wife beating is not yeah, there. Really. What is your response? So, so we, we don't talk about it, we don't discuss it. Exactly. But so we, we, when, when you don't discuss it, when you ignore it, is it gonna go away? Because it, it's not like, gonna go away. No. I, like, I met your son last week. Yeah. His son is like, his son is like going to university. He doesn't yeah. even look that old. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe you are a good husband that no. you don't you don't beat your wife, no, 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 and no, your no, no. it is good that your wife finds teachings of Islam disturbing, yet she chooses to practice Islam. Oh, Khatun is very difficult when every, when Can you come close to me? Khatun, listen, you know, every fiber in our DNA, every fiber in our DNA is Islam. You know, you can't just, oh, I don't, you know, let's step out of it and become disbelievers. Ooh, it doesn't work like that, Khatun. You know, we've been taught from young age that if you say kufr, you know, you go to Jahannam and you know, we're, we're very scared of Allah, very, yeah. very petrified. Yeah, but the teachings yeah. you are following are scary as well. The future generation is going to deal with it now. No, we, we've already been, we've already been, like, brainwashed. That is it now. So maybe future generations, less and less, you know, less and less indoctrination is going to happen. Then maybe for them it'll be easier, but not for our generation. No way. But what do you think, brother? So he, I uh, met him last week and yeah. we talked about certain Quranic verses. He was here with his son yeah. and his wife is practicing Muslim. He is yeah. kind of practicing, not practicing Islam, but he is like they are preparing for Ramadan. He's telling me that his wife is finding teachings of Islam disturbing. When it comes to Hadith, she cherry picks. But when it comes to Quran, the parts which is disturbing, she just chooses to ignore that. Uh, what do, what do you think way to move forward? Uh, I think you've got to think. I think you've got to completely change, change, um, and think about what is what is islam actually giving you and what is islam actually lot, giving your wife a lot, a lot what is it oh, what is great it? deal great islam what, what it gives to my wife especially with us is um be kind to people be good uh, worship just one god uh, don't drink uh, don't so give you some rubbish. so it um, gives you some principles uh, for like, is like the sense whatever. of community strong sense community, of community yeah you know, beautiful. But okay. like, so if like, it is beautiful, you know, yeah. why your wife is ignoring, the, why your wife is thinking those are the disturbing verses? If it is beautiful. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Part, parts of them are disturbing. Not all of it is disturbing. Just parts of it is disturbing. But, but the teachings are that my wife and the community, my mom, my dad, my brothers, everybody I know, basically. Trust yeah, but me. you can't get community in somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Christianity gives you oh, principles to live by. It teaches love. It teaches all these things. My yeah. Friend, you don't know how. What Christianity you, also gives community my friend, with the church something. and so on. Yeah. Then you need to study psychology but, because you don't know how what, yeah. what it means to be a Muslim. Every yes. DNA in your fiber yes. is Muslim. I know. I know the brainwashing thing. I know the brainwashing thing and all that. Yeah. But then you've got to think what what and then, you know, and then the depression. Don't yeah. forget, if yeah. if if I became a disbeliever for for, for, for one day, for one full yes. day I was a disbeliever. Yes. I went to sleep and I said, I'll be lied to. Yes. I go, Quran is not the word of God, Muhammad. Yes. Even is, the his, the historical not, of Muhammad is not even confirmed. Yeah. Uh, and you know, I sunk even me as a secular Muslim, yes. I sunk into depression. Yes. I got so scared that if I die, I'm going to go to the grave and yes. I'm Munkar Nakeem yes. and they're going to ask me three questions. I yes. make a big hammer on yes. Jahannam. 
I had but to there is a big difference between Christianity and Islam. I had to wake up in the morning. Yeah. I had to say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Yes. My wife was so, sinking to depression. If, yeah. if she says that I'm going to yes. I don't want to believe in no So Islam is built on fear of Sorry, hell. Sorry, can we come a little and bit this way? Yes. 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 Come this way is built on fear of hell. Yes. Yes. Christianity is not built on the fear of hell. It's built on God's love for us. It's a powerful emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Don't understand. It's a, a fear is a, it's a more yeah. powerful than love. Right. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a secular so, right. about depression. So, yes. so let me ask you a question. How long have you been married? So you uh, married. Uh, so you married when you were 19. Yeah. Tw it's been 20 years. 20, 21 years. Yeah. How would you feel if you find out only way, only way your wife is pretending to be your wife because she's freaked out and she has fear of you that you are going to do something to her? Oh, would no. you be? Would you, like? She actually. She never upset. loved you. Yeah, that's right. She, she never loved you. you because she's yeah. afraid you're going to beat her up or yeah. abuse her or something like that. Yeah. But trust me. me but it is the same. Like yeah. No, no, no. Exactly. No, no. Yeah. It, but you are so, not Christian. So, so, so that's right. Here's the thing, then. So, you don't want your wife to live with you because out of fear, but you want to, her to be your wife because she loves you, she cares for you, she concerns yeah. for you. Yeah. But you are doing the same thing to Islam. You are in Islam because you are you, because fear. of fear, not because you believe Islam is true or right or gives you yeah, anything, fear, but yeah, because of fear. Yeah, just fear. Right. It's true. Yeah, what are you talking about? Part of the motion. Yeah. But in Christianity, you see, we have the love of God, the love of God, and that is what is, that is what keeps us in Christianity. It's not the fear of hell; it's the love of God. Okay, we realize that God loves us so much. That he was willing to suffer for us on our behalf, yeah, and and so so we can have sure forgiveness. We can be sure that we're going to be in paradise rather than in hell, yeah. Yeah, well, I spoke to Hatu last week. Yeah, is uh, like I said, our group in England and our group in Christian yeah. went to Christian school. Yes, yeah. You know, my friends were. Yeah. Some of them were Christians, secular Christians, some of them just atheists, yeah. but they, they were culturally Christians. Yes. So I've got, so I've got great connections with the Christians. Yes. So but it is not the connection I have with someone else, it is the connection and relationship I am having with my God. Yeah. That's, that is the issue. Like, we, we, I, 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 I am not a Christian because I know this gentleman, he's a Christian. Yeah. I'm not a Christian because my mom or my father or my granddad or someone I know is Christian. I am Christian because God's love is pouring upon me and I am silent by that love. On, only reason I can, only way I can respond to that love is saying, I love you back and then entering that relationship. But in your occasion, you said you are not even you wouldn't be happy if your wife is pretending to love you while she freaks out of you but you are in islam because of that you acknowledge that there are very disturbing things in islam and you choose to turn blind eye but there are billions of Muslims out there that are not turning blind eye and they are following those teachings maybe you are happily married but your next door neighbor probably is beating his wife because he wants to be good yeah. Muslim yeah. by practicing Surah 434. Well, uh, let me tell you something. If I, if I see a man beating his wife, I'll beat the shit out of him, right? So obviously this is... It, it is good that you didn't. <laughs> it is good that you didn't live at the time of Muhammad. Poor Muhammad would be beaten by you. So, so a coward man beats his wife. Let's get one thing straight. Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad yes. beat his wife. You know that. You know that he did punch his wife. Yeah, on the chest. <laughs> So when it comes to the Quran, he allowed men to slap his wife. Well. Yeah, yeah, Muhammad. Hadith, we don't trust me. Don't, don't trust the Hadith. Okay? Yeah. Don't, just, just don't forget about that. Yeah. Hadith lived yeah. yeah. two hundred years <laughs> after the fact. Yeah. We cannot go. We don't reference it. We just basically use a bit of Hadith to give us a guidance. We don't believe they're authentic. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say that the speakers yeah. call Muslims don't like that statement. Uh, you cannot yeah. be Muslim without no, Hadith, hadith but yeah. you already expressed that you are disturbed by Islam. My question is, on the Day of Judgment, no, on, no, just, no, just a moment, are you not disturbed by the teachings of Islam? Some elements, some elements, yeah. I, am, I, I, I disagree with, I, I yeah. am disturbed by it. Yeah. Those are the ones that like taking, beating your wife, what else? Sex slaves, what else? Uh, 
kill the Jews and Christians. Fight kill the sorry, Jews fight and Christians. Cri fight. Fight. Yeah. Don't what tell else? the Jews and Christians as your friends. But, okay. Uh, uh, chop off the hands. Uh, yeah. Chop off the hands of thieves. Chop uh, off the hands of the thieves. Uh, Five thirty-eight. What? Yeah, what else? Like oh, I'm disturbed with the fact that you're allowed to have sex slaves, but if two consensual adults have sex, then you have to you have to lash them a hundred times. But boy, so so that so obviously we like but I said, some elements, all, all some those elements. things, all those yeah, things right. you brought up, they yeah. are actually referenced in the Quran, not even in the Hadith. I know, I know, yeah. I know. And that is the word yeah. of Allah. I know, it's yeah. terrible, isn't it? I know. When you stand on the day of judgment in front of Allah, what are you gonna say? When He says you denied, you you, when Allah says to you, oh well, if you lived in the time of Muhammad, you told yeah. that you would beat Muhammad. You, you disagreed with my teachings. You disagreed with the, my morality. What are you going to say to Allah? Do you think Allah is going to give you virgins in paradise? No? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I'm, I'm really confused myself because, because not only is the doctrine, it's the religion, it's, it's, it's also it's, it's a community as well. If, let, let me give you an example. I if know. I went home to my dad and said, Dad, yeah. I agree with Hatu, yeah. so, so therefore I'm no longer Muslim. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn away, I'm going to look into Christianity. It's going to be a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble for you. I'll tell, I'll 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 tell you. Wife, dad, if I, my wife, Dad, yeah. oh, I love the man dearly, he's the yeah. nicest bloke you'll ever meet. He loves his wife dearly. Like I said, all the people I know love the wife did it. So, um, if I to, but, but look at this. He himself is such a beautiful human being, and I'm treated by Didi. If I see him said to him that listen, I'm no longer Muslim, he would he would be deeply upset. Yes. I don't think he'd be yes. as extreme to tell me to yes. divorce divorce a daughter, but, yeah. but he would be deeply upset. Yes. the outcast. That's right. I know the community thing is the main thing that holds Muslims back friend is, is from like, leaving Islam. It's the main thing that holds people back. back. So what time is it? It's now. Oh, you don't have phone. Uh, half past four. You don't have phone. Okay. I do have phone. Yeah. So le le let let me let me say something to you. I know lots of lots of um, I know lots of lots of Muslims who disturbed by the teachings of Islam and then they left Islam. Okay. Yes, your community kicks you out, your family kicks you out, and most likely you will be told to divorce your Muslim wife. That's most likely going to be happen. Your life is going to turn to hell. But the bottom line is, do you want to live in a lie with knowing what you are trying, you are pretending to be someone else, or do you want to live in a truth and make a commitment to your eternity? Yeah, no, I get where you're coming from, but so, yeah, no, you like, got a really good point. Like, no, okay, I, okay, I, I am Christian, yeah. my family kicked me out, like, I had, like, being Christian is not like, okay, uh, let me just become a Christian today. I come from Muslim background, I had to give up lots of things, but yeah. I can confidently tell you, Jesus is worthy. Not only he is worthy, he thinks I am worthy enough that he pours out his love for me. Yeah. All I can do is just, like, not turn blind eye, not say, oh, good, you stay there whenever I need you. All I can do is I need to get on my knees and then say, thank you for loving me enough, giving me, offering me eternal life because of your death and resurrection. Because I checked it out, it is true, and con consequences of my decisions, yes, there are lots of implications in this world, but when you look in a big, big picture, I am investigating my eternity. Yeah. Do I want to spend my eternity with God Himself, or do I want to know? Let's see where I'm going to end up. Islam, yeah. No certainty that you're going to. Yeah. Be you know, you may spend eternity in hell in, in Islam. And your father? Is he, so you're, you're from an Egyptian background, did you say? I am not Egyptian. I told you, I told you last week. Don't believe what you are hearing. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Egyptian. I'm not, I was not kicked out of the country, and then I got like this week. Uh, well, your, your mom and dad were Muslims, yeah. Yeah, they're Muslims. Uh, have they accepted you as a Christian? Or no. They disowned you now. They disowned me. And your your wider community disowned you too. But the investment Lord Jesus Christ did on me, it's He's worthy. Yes, like. Now he, he provides friends, brothers and sisters yeah, for them. Of course, of course, there is nothing can take the place of your father, your mother, but Jesus is worthy. Yeah, yeah. And I am confident that I am in a truth. It's not like something, 
I'm pretending to be. I am confident. And I know, yes, there are the consequences, but the investment I am doing is worldwide. And just remember that even your, you know, your father, your mother, your in-laws and so on, they're not going to be around for many years. Yeah, okay. they're going to die. <laughs> they're going to be gone sometime. Yeah. So yeah, you may lose some. If not from the coronavirus. Anyway. If it's not from the coronavirus, yeah. from old you know, age. Yeah, that's, you're going to lose it sometime. Yeah, maybe you lose them a bit earlier if they completely reject you, you know, saying we don't, they're not going to send you off or have you. And recently I've been doing a lot of research here. Yeah. So what I do, I just keep my mouth shut most of the time when I'm around my own people yes. and my family. Yeah. I do my own little research. Can you there. come this way? My staffs are here, sorry guys. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah you have been investigating. Yeah. I honestly don't believe that Islam is going to be around for a very long time. Because no. historically, historically... It is amazing to hear this from a Muslim. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah. Because if you... Because everything else, we could say, okay, come from God, whether, whether it's cruel or whether it's harsh, it's, it's, it's God may be cruel and harsh. So who are we to say, or challenge God? How can we uh, project our morality to God? But, but the thing that's going to really, uh, I think is going to really crush us, yes. is the historicity. Yes. Yeah. Peace be upon him. Yeah. Right, because what's you just told us yeah. Islam is not going to be around for a long time. You told us some of the teachings of Muhammad you are finding disturbing, and then you are still saying Muhammad, peace be upon him. I think I think that <laughs> must be like Muhammad, police be upon him or something. Yeah, but that's indoctrination for you. Listen yes. to this. Yeah. Listen to this. First time, I could not believe it. Knocked me out for a six. First time, Muhammad even mentioned in Muslim sources. 60 years! Imagine this, these Arabs pouring out the, the yeah. Palestine and, and the yeah. Sicilian territory yeah. and Egypt. Yeah. Where's Muhammad in it? Yeah. The point. Yeah. It's very difficult. The, point, the yeah. first time, it's top down. Yeah. The first, it should be bottom up. Yeah. It should be the slaves and common man should be saying Muhammad yeah. inscriptions, yeah. documents, yeah. he split the moon, yeah. he did all these miracles. Yeah. But, but the first time, the name Muhammad is on any, it's not the point. Is uh, from uh, Abdullah bin Zabir and, and then yeah. Abdul Malik. Yeah. Yeah. That's 60, 70 years. Yeah, that's right. What happened in those 60, 70 years? Where was Muhammad? <laughs> Where was he? Yeah, you know. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, well, we've been taught in our tradition. Yeah. We've been taught since we were little kids. Yeah. That Muhammad, uh, everybody knew him. He, he was the he was the sort of uh, a person who who, who who created this new world order. Mm. He, he received the wahi. Mm. You know, everybody knew him. You know, it, 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 his verses were ringing in everybody's heads. The the the, the, the Sahaba. Yeah. And with these verses, he went out and conquered. Yeah. Historically, it's on, that is very shaky. Yeah. That's very shaky historically. Isn't it? Yeah. Even the yeah. caliphs, even the four caliphs, no history, yeah. Yeah. no history of them, yeah. the missing caliphs. But you are still, you are still living your life by making those commitments to Islam yes. and Muhammad. That is the problem. But does future generations want to deal with that? Yeah. Yeah, no, like no. on because the day of judgment, you are when you stand in front of God. You, need to you know can't. That you're right with God. Yeah. Now you need to know now. It's not about right your next God. generation. Not the next you, generation. But how do you stand in front of Holy God? Okay. So where I see things. To me, it's all about monetism. So I think this is where I reconcile this. To me, it's okay, fine. My mind is saying is either could be an atheist, okay, because also atheists have got abundance of evidence that evolution and, and yeah. we've evolved from common yeah. planets. There's a lot of evidence there as well. I don't want to be an atheist. I don't want to be that. There's a reason why I don't want to be an atheist. I don't want to go into that. I, I want to believe in God. I, want to believe in I was one brought one. up atheist. Yeah. I don't want to be an atheist. I know that's wrong. I don't want to be an atheist. I'm, just, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not an atheist. I've always yeah. been a, a religious kind of person. Yeah. You know, not an extreme, but when I'm a religious person, I've always been a person in believing in one God. To me, yeah. Tawheed is everything. Okay. Right? So, yeah. so, so I figured, I was right. Okay, if I'm a teaching. Is, bottom line is the meat of it. What is it? The meat of it is to worship one God. No. 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 I'm wrong. Uh, no. No. I was doing so well there. <laughs> so no, abandoned, cold, think, pagan cults. So, uh, to one living God. 
No, so first of all, first of all, there are lots of questions on on unity of Allah because Tawhid is not oneness of Allah, but unity of Allah. Second thing is, you cannot you cannot be Muslim without Muhammad. Not only like worshiping Allah, but obeying Muhammad in its fullness. Full submission to Muhammad, Surah 464, 65. But I look at, I don't understand, but the caliphs, there's no, the, the historicity of, of Islam, La ilaha illallah is there, Bismillah is there, Ashhadu Allah. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't stop there. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad and Abdul Rasulullah. It doesn't stop there. So you've got Muhammad in that list. So here's, here's the thing. Let, let me kind of ask basic question on your understanding of Tawhid. Yeah. So you believe Allah is one being eternal? Yes. You believe Quran is one being eternal? Uh, yes. Yes? So you've got Allah eternal, you've got Quran eternal. Um, actually, I don't know. I don't know about the Quran. Honestly, I don't know. No, but, uh, see, once again, I'm scared, isn't it, to say the wrong answer? What if I'm wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> you are wrong. I'm scared, isn't it? Uh, yeah, like, you don't, you don't need to be scared, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah. You are wrong. Prepare yourself. If you don't bow down and worship Lord Jesus Christ, and if you die as a Muslim, you are going to go to hell. So, prepare for it. Don't, don't like, I'm shocked, I'm surprised, I'm afraid. Don't, those things are not going to work. Because you are, even like if today, if you die in this mindset as a Muslim, you are going to go to hell because you are identified as a hypocrite according to Muslims. Like, both, in both sides, you are in hell. No, I'm not in the middle, in limbo state. Not in the middle, no, no, you are in hell. No, you are in the other side. You're going to hell at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah. you can talk about it, but actually it is serious. You need to find forgiveness from God. You need to be reconciled to God. You need to stand yeah. in front of Holy God yeah. as yeah. declared righteous. Yeah. That is, sorry, sorry, yeah. there is no another way. Yeah. So what do you have to do? You have to just ex uh, accept Jesus as, uh, as you, no, you, need to, you need to trust in Jesus. You need to put your trust in Jesus. Yeah. Allah doesn't have a son. But. Uh, no, no, the reason Allah doesn't have a son because Allah doesn't have a girlfriend. So your understanding of son comes from the biological sense. But, brother, how long have you been Christian? You said you were a teacher before. Yeah, I was uh, beginning Christian when I was a student. So about 40 years. 40 years? Maybe. <laughs> so in this 40 years, as you study Bible, as you read the Bible yes. every day, as you do your devotions, your yeah. prayer, how many times you come to the conclusion that is somewhere in the Bible teaches you Jesus is the Son of God in the biological sense? It's not biological. We don't, we don't biological believe sense. that. We don't believe Jesus is the Son of God because, yeah, yeah, we don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God because there is a biological or sexual union is involved. We don't believe that. We believe Jesus is the Son of God. That's his relationship with his Father. Yeah. Bible tells us before the foundation of the earth, before everything, before there was anything, Lord Jesus Christ was existed as the eternal Son of the Father, having fellowship with God. Different person from the Father, but not the father. Yeah. So and there is no, there is no. Three person in one being, isn't it? Yes. Is that, is yes. that how it works? Yeah. Yes. So, you, so you've got one hand. Person, you've one got, man. you've got one hand. You know much better than Allah, actually. Allah didn't know that basic. So you've got one hand with five fingers. But still, you've got one hand. Fingers are different. You've got one face with two eyes plus sunglasses on. You've got, what else? You've got two arms. One body. So we do, when we look at the world, we get to see, yes, there is plurality into oneness. But when we talk about God, it is not that simple. We don't have anything in this world we can say God is like this. Closest image we have is when in Christianity, that's not in Islam, but in Christianity when man and woman marries, Man and woman becomes one flesh. They are identified as one flesh. So, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, they are three persons in one being. That's what the Christian scripture teaches. 
What, but I did it one, God. It's more complex. No, just wait, sir. Sorry, that's too noisy. Come this way. Are you considering yourself a polytheist or a monotheist? I'm monotheist. I did it one, God. Because there's a polytheist. Because I'm not inside here. Sir, can you wait? We believe that one God is more complex than we are. I am one being. I am one person. Hatun is one being. She is one person. God is one being, but he is three persons. Okay. Okay. What He's more complex than we are. Sir, sir, just a moment. I am in the conversation with him. If you wait, I will talk to you. Is that okay? Can you wait with him? Thank you. Yeah. So, so, so me, for me, my understanding, God, it has to be monotheism. Yes. Christian faith is monotheist. I believe in only one God because my scripture forces me to believe only one God. But it's more complex than we are. That's the difference. That's the good thing because you are not God. Yes. Yeah. Lamb of God is going to judge the world. Yes. And as a Christian, you are waiting for day of judgment with joy. As a Muslim, you are waiting day of the judgment as freaked out because how it's going to turn up for you. We look forward to this. We look forward yes, to we are waiting. Happy, happy yeah. 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 Can, I, yeah. can I say something? You finished.